Okay, so here we are again with Final Fantasy, and we're going to be playing a 30 minute game this time around. And it's going to be 30 minutes of just leveling up, so I hope that's okay with you. Um, I basically have to fight two bosses in a row after this area here, and this is just the beginning of the game. I don't remember it being this difficult. Now, obviously, the fights aren't difficult, but you really have to do what is called grinding to build up experience, and this game has its own unique leveling up uh, experience called the Sphere of Earth. So, this monster that we're fighting now is only weak against magic. I thought at first it would be fire because he's blue, but I think he's more uh, weak against thunder. Let us guardians have so I started, you know, Lulu keeps butting in saying she's the only one who can take it down. But if Waka had hit it enough with that ball, it would Step. take it out. Or if you're a high level person. So, you cast the magic spell. Um, I don't know why I make you know, attack. 11 damage really is basically the same as 1 damage. I'm on a roll! Until the, game is, uh, uh, the fight is over. And uh, we look at what we win. And so here's a waterfall. It's a beautiful graphics, beautiful game. You're walking past the waterfall. And, um, the Let one, us guardians the have Luna can't it. kill anything. She's a healer. And she can summon a very powerful creature. Now, Raka is ideal for shooting that flying creature. Uh, this fire is hits flying creatures as well. Uh, fire and creature li uh, lightning. And so we're going further along. You're basically trying to get out of a tropical rainforest. I think the plot is that you want to make it big in the big city. But you're coming from this place of sheer beauty. And you have this like, this looks like a tarot card leveling system. And here I'm confused how if you press it hard, um, you'll go past two instead of one. You have to really delicately tap it in order to get to the right place. And then you use the spheres. And then, of course, you have to have the right sphere for what you're going for, and luckily I do. Um, so, she's just dog confused to who can level up. If you can move, you can probably level up. So he moved two, which means he had been saving up his things. And I think that just gave him an extra 200 hit points, which uh, fighting the boss later on, that will really help. And he gave himself some speed, which is always good. Yes, speed is always good. She has more magic, she has a spellcaster, that should be good. I find when you increase magic or physical aggression points, you don't really, um, you don't really feel it, it's more like they give you a percentage more damage. And it does help in the battle, but like it, it can decide if you win or lose the battle. But, um, that's what you have to do to slowly gain power and experience magic points and hit points. So, just checking the menus. 
I, I was confused here. I'm like, what is it? All the sphere grid? Like, is there any level up? And I assumed at the end of the thing that there is no other way to level up. So Titus is just wandering around. I may do a follow. Let's Let play after this. Let there, she did peace. 64 points with that. So, and Waka's taking him out like thunder. See, she hasn't figured out yet that fire isn't good enough. And I Let think as you get stronger, the map monsters yeah. get stronger, I'm not sure. Because this would have killed It's gonna take a while. I'll handle it. Now. Step. So she's still against the fire. And I should. I'm gonna say it now because I might forget it later. When you get to a save point. Um, your hit points and magic points are restored. Thank you, everyone. And she bows. Now we need to cure. I don't know what null shock is. Maybe it's like there's a. There's a, in Final Fantasy Dimensions, you can be stunned, so you ha your ATB, active time battle gauge, whatever, um, goes back to zero, and you have to wait until that builds up again. Okay, right here I'm, I'm examining these areas that, the, the map says there's something about these stones, but I'm, I'm, walking around and pressing the X button and I'm not getting anything. So I do that. There's the language I was talking about where you learn it one letter at a time. Maybe I already uh, got the benefits of these statues. So there you go. Now we're in this little valley here. So yeah, it saves your, it saves your game, max out your hit points and magic points. Because you, you don't really stop at a lot of towns in this game. It's really just, you keep going forward. And of course, um, when you save the game, it blanks out the screen of the recording. For my safety, I assume. So now we're going back. We're just gonna go back and forth um, until we uh, get enough level up. And because this is so boring, I might play some Fallout 4. Uh, I haven't even created a character in it yet. So he's going forward. Let us guardians help. I put him to sleep, I didn't even notice that, but he was woken up by the bird. And unlike other Final Fantasies, when you're put to sleep, um, if you have set a previous action, then you will compute the previous action instead of having to uh, figure out the previous action again. So here we go. So we've got the bird and the slime. And you see when Yuna attacks the bird, the bird jumps in the air. I don't think that happens every time. I think if your speed is really high, you can hit it. And Lulu is still stuck on thinking fire is the best way. Um, I obviously, in, in other games, I'm more concerned about my hit points going too low. In this game, I kind of feel like it's an easy type, so I don't really worry about my hit points. So two fires. Two fires not enough to kill him. I should be realizing by now that um, uh, 
thunder, use thunder. I'm on a roll! Now we're 10 minutes into this let's play. See, we, we won spheres. We won spheres which we can use to level up. That's the good thing about this. But I remember the spheres being like, you can use a power sphere on a magic uh, slot, and you can use magic on magic, and like, I don't know, maybe that's Final Fantasy XIV. So this is, so we're basically going back and forth between these two save points, and we're going to level up our Lulu, she can move on the sphere grid, and she's going to see if she has anything she can use, nope, use, anything she can use, and level up Waka, move, he, it looks like he barely moves at all. He had all those empty spaces he had to move. And this is the beginning of the game. This fear grid is actually quite massive, actually, if you manage to zoom out. So we're going to save at our hit points and that, that magic points high up. And <laughs> Sony decided to give us, Sony or Squish Soft decided to give us a blank screen when we save. Um, so, just walking around. And just basically going back to the do, do the same thing. Walk around to meet, meet a monster to beat a monster. So we can upgrade our sphere grid. Formation. Yeah, I wanted to put um, Titus in instead of Yuna, so Titus' sphere grid would go up um, because of the final boss no battle in this segment of the game. It was with Titus and with Waka. Oh, yeah. And I was getting confused and distracted by my phone telling me that someone it. wants my money. <laughs> I, I give to Peter and I'm still doing the fire. Leave that one to loot. Didn't I just tell you? You need See, magic. I cut these guys out because they keep saying the same thing. I love how those spirits get released. I just watched Mortal Kombat, the first one, uh, the mo first movie, and how the spirits are trapped inside the body and the spirits get released. So it's just walking along, so it's Oh, don't even need to use magic in this game. And they're ganging up on Titus thinking he's a good kid. There we go. See, the monster fights are so easy, but I need to keep doing them to get enough uh, power to defeat Sin and the boss that comes after Sin. Just really beautiful, lush scenery. And what is that? Look, that looks like a clay pot. That, or what is that? Like a drill bit? That is ten times way too big. And I'm jaded there. I don't look at the uh, white dots on the map to see what they are. And now we are just about halfway through 
and I, it, the screen told me it was halfway, so I started a recording again. And I don't know how to officially stop the recording, so I just let the recording go for another 15 minutes. So, um, but I was getting, you know, sometimes you look away from the movie if you're at home eating, eating snacks. It's a movie, it's like, it's just background, you look away. Same thing happens with me in this game. Just look away for a, a, a little while. Just going back and forth, very rhythmic, very ritualistic. Um, and these could theoretically be things that I can do, which I do have also. I also have to write here. I don't know if I have a PS3 version or a PS4 version. This is gonna take a while. I think it's the I'll PS3, but it comes with a comic book. Need a good jolt? Yeah, she figured out Thunder, I think. It's over! I'm on a roll! Team Titus. He's figuring out which way he wants to move. I think he only has one option into where to move. Unless he wants to move backwards, but that's not what he wants, I assume. Is it glowing? Move to this location? No. Don't move to... I did. Why did I do that? I was supposed to go the other way. Where did I start off? Anyways. So, beautiful waterfalls. And a dog and a bird. Take that. And this, there was probably a romantic scene there overlooking the cliff. It's that there. We got that now. I want to get these hidden items. And the camera angle, it, the management of the camera angle was really well done in this game. So save and hit points. So it blocks it all off and you don't get to see anything. I think there's a, probably only one or two more, one and a half, going back and forth. This game made me so happy when I was young, and it makes me happy still. And it makes me even more happy that I get to do a let's play of it. The, like the, the graduation, the levels of this game. A dog, a throne, oh, yeah. and a bird. Okay, so let's see if someone has a message from the phone. I'm just going to check what it says. Okay, so we can find it. Bond 
20 minutes in the day. So. I don't know much, how much space the PlayStation has, but I'm going to have to delete these recorded files. I'll handle it. 21 minutes. Beautiful, grassy, lovely land. Why are you trying to get on a boat to go away? Oh, because he's a Blitzball player. And Blitzball players have a Blitzball tournament. Oh, it is cool. It's a fun game. You could at least like make a little animated GIF here, or I guess you could say that I could at least make a little animated GIF here. But there we go. I'm trying to expand the borders because oh, what happens if we go down into here? I don't think I've gone further than that save point before. So where are we going now? Is the question. You know it would be good. A Star Trek <laughs> RPG. Um What do you want you then? Oh yeah, we were cast out of the spell be out of this town because we didn't agree with practices. But this really is the beginning of the game. You, you haven't really missed anything. Just like long cutscenes. And I think there was a treasure chest there that I opened. So what are we going to buy? First we buy weapons because they're more permanent and we get to reuse them. So what do we have here? Nothing that will make us stronger, in my estimation. So why don't we try to buy some items? Now, not all my characters have healing, so we want to buy as, ma as many as many um, potions as possible. And ethers or ethers are good as well. Um, so now we go out of the city. Uh, I don't think we experience monsters yet. I think there was this thing where we had to play like this hide and seek game when we were up here. With four of us, this is no problem. So, yeah, pretty easy fight. What is that yellow thing there? Oh, that's walk up. So the screen is really small and I need to go out Almost five minutes left. I'm acting like I don't want to do this with the future. Can we cure? Oh, can we can we move? 
place we can move. Yeah, that's right. Move in the right direction. <laughs> At least, uh, move in the linear direction. That's what I think. So linear. See, back when I first played it, I think you could have used power, ability, speed, mana in any of those ambiguous circlets. That's a thing. I'm addicted to saving, I'm sorry. It's when you have. When you have data loss, you need to save him. <laughs> so I'm just doing something here. And he's walking around. Beautiful vegetation. Probably made it even more beautiful by the HD remaster. Look at that waterfall right up ahead and just take it for granted because video games are so fantastic. So, oh, yeah. it's a nice thing to make a variety. I'm going to take off my winter hat because I'm not so cold anymore. You learn thunder and you lose thunder. Battle up? Uh, battle up? Good thing these bridges never collapse when I run over them. We <laughs> have a lot of invisible guards in this game. I think that's a natural turn in visible. Yeah. Why don't you just stay here and mow the grass? There we go. I save again, but it's only one minute until this let's play is over. And I will have to press stop because Movie Maker doesn't automatically stop the narration when the, when the video stops. So he's heading back to the other side, but little does he know that the video will cut out just like a power out. I run the screen for the fire, but there we go. Piece of cake! But did we win? Walking around. The red top indicators. Take it easy, yeah, huh? Course. I'm fine. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 